So here is the vernier caliper. The main features are this. We've got the main scale, which is marked off in centimetres. We've got the vernier scale here. We've got the external drawers. We've got the internal drawers. And we've got the depth rod. If I wanted to measure the diameter of this part of this bolt, we use the external drawers and read off the reading here. I'll talk you through that later. If I wanted to measure the internal diameter of that hole, I'd use the internal drawers and again, read off the measurement. And if I wanted to measure the depth of that hole, I would use the depth rod and again, read off from the scale there. Right, I've enlarged the scale here to show you how this works. So this is the main scale. This would be zero centimeters, one centimeter, two centimeters, and so on. The way that the vernier scale works is that there are 10 marks along the space of nine millimeters on the main scale. And what we're looking for is, first of all, where this mark here lines up on this scale. Um, so we can see on this one that we've got that's one centimeter and it's 1.0 centimeters because it hasn't reached the first millimeter there and it lines up exactly. So it's going to be 1.0 and then zero for the next decimal place. We move it along ever so slightly. It's now gone past the 1.0 mark It's 1.01. And if I move it along a bit further with this next one lines up, so it's 1.02. And then every time we move this along, we can see that on the vernier scale, the next mark lines up with the main scale until we reach this point here, where this is at one centimeter and one millimeter, and we're back to the zero lining up here. So this is 1.10 millimeters. We move it across somewhere over about that would do. That would be nice. So reading on this one, we've got 2.1, 2.2. So it's 2.2 centimetres, hasn't reached the third millimetre mark yet. So it's 2.2 centimetres. And then what lines up? So we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's the eighth one lines up. So we get a measurement of 2.28 centimetres, 2.28 centimetres. Unfortunately, with this camera, we get parallax error when we're reading off the scale here. So what I've done is I've taken a measurement of the length of the screw here, and I've recreated the reading that we get on the vernier scale on my little model here. So the reading that we get, um, the length of this, um, this screw part of the bolt, is we've got 2.1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 2.4 centimetres. And then we need to look at which one of these lines lines up with the main scale. And uh, if we look here, the closest one that lines up is this one here. It's the first one. So the reading is 2.41 centimeters. Reading the internal diameter of this um, of the hole here. And on this one, we can see that we're going across. So we've got. We're not quite at the 0 0.5 centimetres, so it was 0 0.4. And then the ninth one lines up, so it's 0 0.49 centimetres. I'm going to measure the internal depth of this hole. And what we get here is we've got three millimetres, but we haven't reached the fourth one. Uh, which one of these lines lines up? So this one lines up, and this is the seventh line on vernier scale. So we've got 0 0.37 centimetres.